Hi, good night everybody. I'm running to serve Pennsylvania. It's about supporting and helping. All right, good night everybody. I'm running to serve Pennsylvania. Bro, what type of started? Okay, anyways, I'm gonna just, just let it play. I'm running to serve Pennsylvania. It's about supporting and helping, you know, young earners, excuse me, young, young, uh, get it out, Come on. young, you know, students to, to give them a break. I believe that that supporting. Uh, All right. Let me just ask specifically uh, with the plan to um, ease student loan debt, the debt forgiveness of ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars for Pell Grant recipients. Do you support that position? I, I, I do absolutely support that. I believe, like I said, uh, it's about helping y young learners, you know, be able to get a better start, you know, getting uh, off uh, in the, the start of their life. And I, I do believe that. And I believe a, ma a majority of Americans support that as well, too. We all have to make sure that everyone that works is able to. That's that's the most American bargain that if you work full time, you should be able to live in dignity as well. True. And I believe they haven't have any businesses being being uh we can't have businesses being subsidized oh by not paying ind uh, individuals that just simply can't evade to, to pay their own way. You have made two conflicting statements regarding fracking. In a 2018 interview, you said, quote, I don't support fracking at all. I never have. But earlier this month, you told an interviewer, quote, I support fracking. I support the energy independence that we should have here in the United States. So, Mr. Fetterman, please explain your changing position. 60 seconds. Uh, I, I've, I've always supported fracking. And I always believe that independence with our energy is, is critical. We can't be held, you know, you know, ransom to somebody like Russia. You know, I've always believed that energy independence is critical, and I've always believed that, and I do support fracking. I've never taken any money from their their their. In bro, I, bro, I can't I I can't sit here and watch this dog. I mean, I don't even think he know what he's saying himself. I don't even think he honestly picking up the words that he's saying. Seriously, I don't think he get himself. This bro, this is sad. It's, it's honestly sad, bro. Regardless of our differences, but you could tell this man is something is something not clicking, okay? Some just not clicking up there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like seriously. I mean, I know that mental health is a really, really important thing. But to be honest, regardless of me and this guy differences, dog, you need to get help. Okay, you this is worse than watching Biden. All right, and trust me, watching Biden is terrible. Okay, it's terrible. I don't even like to hear the man talk. I, I, I seriously, I don't even like to hear the man talk. Uh, he like to hear himself talk more than America like to hear him talk. E even the people that voted for him don't even like to hear him talk. And it, it's it, it's also crazy to me that regardless of what this man is speaking about, because I don't even think he understands what he's speaking about. Democrats will still vote for this man. It, it's not gonna change their mind. They seen they 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 watching the debate and they will still vote for him because he is a Democrat. That that's that's what they're gonna do. They, that's what they're gonna do, regardless of how good the Republican side is. You know what I said? They gonna always vote for the Democrat. Simple as that. They gonna vote for him regardless, regardless of what he said, regardless of how much sense he makes. They gonna still vote for him. It's not gonna change their mind. It's seriously not gonna change their mind. Industry, but I support how critical it is that we produce our own energy and create energy independence. I must correct the record. Uh, uh, just a second, Mr. Oz. I do want to clarify something. You're saying tonight that you support fracking, that you've always supported fracking, but there is that 2018 interview that you said, quote, I don't support fracking at all. So how do you square the two? Uh, I, I I do support fracking, and I don't I don't I support fracking, and I stand and I do support fracking. Fifty-one percent of Pennsylvania voters disapprove of the president's job performance. You have publicly supported many of his policy positions. Are there any that you disagree with? Thirty seconds. No, I, I just believe he needs to do more about supporting uh, and fighting about in, in, in inflation. You have not released your detailed medical records surrounding your stroke. Mr. Fetterman, will you pledge tonight to release those records in the interest of transparency? You have 60 seconds. No. 
Uh, to me, for transparency is about showing up. I'm here today to have a debate. I have, you know, speak. Bro, you're here to have a debate? Bro, bro, you're not here. You're not mentally on earth right now. Seriously, you're not here. You're physically here, but you're not mentally here, bro. You need to worry about your health. Your health is more important than this, than running for, bro. Seriously, I. Like I said, I, regardless of our differences, regardless of what we believe in, I don't even care about that right now. You need to go home and focus on your mental health because this is ridiculous, bro. This is Biden 2.0, and you don't want to be called a Biden 2.0 because that's not a good look on you, brother. You know what I'm saying? That's not a good look. And right now, you're not even, bro, you're stumbling over your words. You're not even trying to, you, bro, you're not answering the questions. you just like, it's, you're repeating yourself. You're repeating yourself. She's talking about 2018 posts that you, uh, 2018, that, uh, what you have said in 2018, and you're not even regarding that. You just keep saying, yes, I support fracking. Yes, I support fracking. Yes, I support fracking. But she's asking you, what about when you said this? No, you not even, like, bro, you're not even comprehending the questions. And you talking about you're here for a debate. No, you're not mentally here, bro. Your mental health is more important than anything in life. You need to focus on your mental health. And for your parents and your family to even send you out like this, it's ridiculous, bro. It's ridiculous. They they definitely failed you. They definitely failed you, bro. Family, like, th that's sick. That is sickening. You're not fit for this, bro. You're not. You're not fit for this. And I'm not just saying it because you're a Democrat. No, you're not fit for this, bro. You're just not. Speeches in front of 3,000 people in Montgomery County, you know, all across Pennsylvania, big, big crowds. You know, I believe if my doctor believes that I'm fit to serve and and that's what I believe is appropriate. And now with two weeks before the election, you know, I have run a campaign and I've been very transparent about being very open about the fact we're in use captioning. And I believe that, again, my doctors, the real doctors that I believe in, they all believe that I'm ready to be served. Follow up. I didn't hear you say you would release your full medical records. Why not? You have 30 seconds. No. Uh, yeah, again, my Dr. L believes that I'm fit to be serving, and that's what I believe is where I'm standing. You mentioned price going after price gouging corporations. How do you plan to do this? You have 30 seconds. Yeah, exactly. We have to keep pushing back on that. And he would never make that choice to, to fight for uh, for, for uh, Amer uh, families here in Pennsylvania. You know, he has never met an air... Uh, uh, an oil company that he doesn't swipe right about. You know, he has never been able to stand up for working families all across Pennsylvania. You know, we must push back. Inflation has hurt Americans and Pennsylvania's families, and it has given the oil companies record profits. When John Fetterman brings up houses, the irony is he didn't pay for his own house. He got it for a dollar from his sister. And he hasn't been able to, to earn a living on his own. He's lived off his parents. So it, it, it doesn't, it's not a topic that we should be debating on the stage. We should be talking about crime and inflation, the issues that are hurting Pennsylvanians that they're talking about at their kitchen. Nah, Dr. Oz, you're, bro, you're, you're wild. You're wild, bro. Come on, man. Let the man, bro. no, he's going through a lot, okay? He's going through a lot. You just took some stab, jab, bro. You just took a whole bunch of, <laughs> just load out a whole clip on a, pop, pop, pop. Like, bro, let the man breathe. Let, 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 let Johnny breathe, okay? <laughs> He's going through a lot mentally. You know what I'm saying? He's going through, I don't know. I seriously don't know, bro. This is, I'm starting to, re I'm starting to believe that this is Biden's son. Just, to, just look at the way that he talk and look at the way Biden talk. You can't tell me the two don't relate. You, you seriously can't tell me. And this is the people that they want to vote into office. This is, this is the people. This is the people who's going to decide us, like, who's going to decide our future. This is the people that we're voting in. Well, not we, but the Democrats. This is, what, this is the people that they're voting in. And like I said, no matter what this guy talking about, because, bro, he's not even answering the, the basic questions that they're asking. He's being on the bush. And for your doctor to even say that you're fit or you're ready to run for that, no, like, no. Your doctor needs to be fired. And Dr. Oz, you have the right. You're a doctor. You know, I'm not, I know literally he's not, but I'm just saying, like, your name is Dr. Oz. You should be telling this man, like, look, sir, you need to focus on your mental, okay? You, you serious. Just let me, just let me carry this. Let me, let me carry this. Yo, you just need to work on your mental, because that's exactly what this man needs to do. Honestly, this is sad, bro. This is truly sad. And <laughs> I, I, I pray that he, <laughs> I don't want to say it, because I'm going to feel bad, because I know he's going through a, 
a mental phase, but I pray that this man don't get into all. I just pray he doesn't. I, I pray he doesn't. Because, bro, come on, man. This is this is who y'all just want to vote in? Table. No, it, it, no, that, that's it. He, uh, he got his Pennsylvania right, house Fetterman. from his own inlays from a, a dollar. Mr. That's Fetterman, typical. we have to continue. John Fetterman thinks the minimum wage is his weekly allowance from his parents. He's not really cognizant of the real challenges. You haven't shown up on the campaign trail. You haven't answered questions from voters, not once on the campaign trail. You haven't answered questions from media once on the ma campaign trail, even you know, just to show off that you could do it. And this is the only debate I could get you to come to talk to me on. And I had to beg on my knees to get you to come. And if it wasn't for Dennis probably getting involved, I don't think it would have happened. Look. Seniors need to know more about your radical left positions. And I need to be able to tell them about my positions. That's what democracy is built on. We exchange ideas. The vote Voters decide. You have hidden from Mr. them. Mr. John Fetterman took a shotgun, chased a unarmed African American man, and put the gun, apparently, according to that man, to his chest. John, you weren't pulled over by the police. Uh, they let you go. You were the mayor at the time. Why haven't you apologized to that unarmed, innocent black man who you put a shotgun to his chest? Everybody in Braddock, uh, an overwhelming majority uh, community of, of black. Uh, community all understood what oh, happened. God, you know, they uh, they understood what happened, and everybody agreed that. And nobody believes that it was anything about me making a split second decision to to defend our community as well. Why not apologize? Uh, 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 I have loved traveling to the four corners of the beautiful Commonwealth, and I've heard your problems. I'm a surgeon, doctor. I listen to what you say, and I'm trying to help address them today. I've talked to seniors worried their social security checks wouldn't go far enough with the raging inflation. I've talked to couples when I make their first down payment on a new house and they can't afford it anymore because of interest rates. I've talked to families. You want to cut five. social security. M Mr. Fetterman, it's his turn for his closing. Yo. For, okay. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, what the freak did I just watch? What, what did I just watch? Dog. Please, I, I beg everybody. Okay, J just just for Pennsylvania, you know, I don't live there, but I'm just saying, y'all don't want this man, and y'all y'all don't want this man. Come on, let's be real, y'all don't, y'all do not, bro. He couldn't even answer the basic questions, it, he, bro. This was ter This was this was honestly just so embarrassing to watch. It, it was like watching one of it was like watching one of Biden moments. You know how when Biden talk, he just he's lost he's lost our president of the united states of america is lost so is this man it's like god damn what's up with you democrats like bro you see get your people minds right i don't know biden is almost something almost like 100 years old the man needs to just look i ain't gonna say it but god dang bro y'all y'all i no offense but bro you democrats are like y'all seriously some delusional people you, your people need to get their heads right. Your people need to get their heads right, man. Mental health is a mental health, man. It, it, it's important. It's important. We all go through battles, but God dang, bro. This is, bro, I lost brain cells listening to this man trying to get out his sentence. I mean, it took him 30 years just to get out one sentence. He wasn't even stuttering. He wasn't, he wasn't even stuttering. That's the problem. It took you 30 years just to get out one simple sentence. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. How did y'all did y'all like the debate? Did y'all watch it? You know, even if you don't live in Pennsylvania, did you watch it? Did you what, what did you do? You know what I'm saying? Did you watch the debate? Was it pathetic? Was it good? How did John how did John Johnny do? You know, how did little Johnny do? <laughs> how did he do? <laughs> Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below, man. I love each and every one of y'all. Thank you so much for 64K, man. We are on the road to 100K. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and subscribe, buddy. Without further ado, man, I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.